Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and don't forget to activate the bell so you don't miss the latest video notifications. Foreign has become the fourth nation in history to have hypersonic missiles. Only the US, Russia, and China have dared to achieve such a feat. By the supreme ruler of Iran himself, Fatah, meaning conqueror, is a spiky, mean grim medium-range ballistic missile that can disintegrate targets before the target even knows it's there. With such a weapon, Russia's ally, Iran, could easily deal serious damage to its US allied opponents in seconds. Particularly, Israel, its arch-nemesis, won't go unchallenged, as we'll see in some minutes. The US may have a damaging response to Iran's hypersonic missile. On June 6, 2023, Iran's first-ever hypersonic missile, Fatah, was unveiled. The president of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, attended the unveiling. To the president, the missile brings security to Iran and warns opposition countries of Iran's military might. With a top speed of Mach 15, Fatah is not only one of the fastest missiles on the planet, it is also one of the fastest hypersonic missiles ever. Other hypersonic missiles attain their blurry Mach 5 plus speeds in one of two ways. The first is by being an air-breathing traditional missile powered by a scramjet engine as it flies and maneuvers through the atmosphere. Scramjet engines, unlike conventional engines, have no moving parts because they operate by burning fuel in a stream of supersonic air that is compressed by nothing else but the forward speed of the missile. Conventional engines, on the other hand, burn slower subsonic air that's compressed by moving engine parts, not the aircraft's immense forward speed. The second approach to a hypersonic missile sees a hypersonic boost glide missile boosted to hypersonic speeds by rockets, disengages from the rockets, and then glides through the atmosphere toward its target using lip from the airflow to maneuver. This two-stage approach is what Iran's Fatah appears to have taken, as the approach allows for insane levels of speed and maneuverability. It is this ability for hypersonic missiles to maneuver that makes them truly lethal. All of the world's ICBMs travel at hypersonic speeds. The American Minuteman 3, for instance, can fly as fast as Max 23, but they aren't considered hypersonic missiles. This is because ICBMs do not maneuver and therefore travel in a predictable path that interceptors can figure out and intersect. ICBMs also have to fly well into orbit before they face their targets. It's not the same with hypersonic missiles, which basically operate as cruise missiles and only briefly peep into orbit at an uncommon altitude before dashing toward their target. This flatter trajectory makes the journey shorter and gives their targets less time to react. But a hypersonic missile, with all the gifts it comes bearing, is no easy nut to crack. For the longest, only the US, Russia, and China, fueled by trillion-dollar economies and a flaming zeal to keep one another in check, have dared to field hypersonic missiles. Iran would be the fourth member of that elite group, and it comes at a time when the country seems to need the invincibility that comes with hypersonic weapons. There have been heightened tensions between Iran and Israel as Israel expresses growing concern of Iran's intentions to reboot its nuclear weapons plans. Israel, a very likely target for Iran's nuclear weapon should it exist, has made it very clear that the country would never allow Iran to have such weapons. Israel's economy minister has advised Iranians to be deeply concerned. According to the minister, should Iran reach the threshold of almost wielding nuclear weapons, escalation is certain. Still, Iran appears to be reaching that threshold, as traces of weapons-grade uranium have been spotted in the country. Explanations have been made by Iran, but Israel isn't taking it. According to the Israeli prime minister, Iran's explanation was technically impossible. According to Laura Holgate, the U.S. Ambassador to the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA. Iran continues to expand its nuclear activities far beyond established limits and is producing a type of uranium that is hardly ever used for peaceful purposes as Iran claims. As the tensions continue to grow, Iran unveiled the Fatah hypersonic missile. According to Iran State TV, with its thrust vectoring rear, it can bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems of the US and Israel, including the Iron Dome. Adran has also claimed the missile would be able to strike Israel in less than seven minutes. With these references to Israel's defenses, Iran's intent with Fatah isn't exactly difficult to guess. 
However, Iran has not described any actual launch or tests of the missile, aside from a ground test of the missile's engine, which doesn't prove much. So this begs the question, is Fada all it promises to be? Is the missile ready for the battlefield? And most importantly, is the missile even hypersonic? Until full specifications of a weapon are known, it is quite difficult to know if it's a hypersonic weapon. By today's standards, as said earlier, traveling at hypersonic speeds doesn't necessarily make a missile a hypersonic weapon. There are more requirements to meet, particularly maneuverability throughout flight and a flat flight path. Russia's Avangard, for instance, with its ability to achieve hypoxic speeds, has only limited maneuverability and operates as a miniature ICBM. So, outside Russian borders, the weapon isn't highly regarded as a hypersonic missile. Iran's Fatah shares similarities with the Iskander, also being a ballistic missile with a partially maneuverable re-entry vehicle rather than a hypersonic glide vehicle weapon. Still, for Iran, the missile is more than enough to perform its explosive duties. According to Iranian Defense Minister General Mohammad Reza Ashchiani, Fatah has a reduced radar cross-section. This means the weapon combines both stealth and blurry hypersonic speeds to overcome air defense systems on its way to its target. However, while even modest RCS reduction can theoretically help delay radar detection time, high-arching ballistic missiles tend to be pretty visible to ground-based radars. Overall, Iran may have come up with some technology to overcome this, but the world will just have to wait to find out as the weapon is put into service and more information about it is released. In service, it would inch closer to face off against its foreign equivalents. It was built to challenge, particularly U.S. hypersonic missiles. In the last four years, the U.S. Department of Defense has spent more than $8 billion developing hypersonic missiles. $13 billion will also be spent in the next five years for the same purpose. The U.S. is going all out and holding nothing. These are the American hypersonic missiles that Iran's FADA is up against if it's to be decisive in international conflicts that are seemingly around the corner. To help ensure the best-case scenario plays out regarding these conflicts, you need to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So, do that now and thanks for watching.